SEO is changing everything. And if you're relying on old, outdated SEO tactics, you are falling behind. Today, I'm gonna compare the two and show you exactly how we've been getting our clients mentioned in AI up to 75% of the time. It's the glory days of G. So let's look into exactly how they're different and how they're similar for both SEO as well as GEO and how you can win in AI search here in 2025 and beyond, especially going into 2026. This video is segmented into four sections. We have benchmarking, we then have technical SEO, and then we have content marketing as well as link building. We're going to go through how all of these traditional strategies have evolved in the age of GEO and exactly how you should be taking advantage to make more money. Starting off with benchmarking. Market. So obviously, SEO has always had keyword trackers where we see exactly where you rank on Google or Bing. But now we have LLM trackers, such as LLM refs, as well as profound, and everyone's getting in the market. You have Hrefs, SEM Rush, and tons of competitors, including SEO Clarity, that are showing AI benchmarks. So how much are you showing up in AI? That's the answer they're trying to give. And my favorite of these is LLM refs. They all kind of do a different thing, but they're all also doing something pretty similar. They're sending requests to different AIs. So ChatGPT, Google Gemini, Google AI overviews, all of these different places, as well as perplexity and every other AI that you can think of. And so if we actually click in here, I can show you, right? So I'm going to have to blur some of this because it is client data, but we can see here that they're going through all of these different AIs. And essentially what they're doing is they're sending questions, including the target keyword, and they're sending it about say a hundred times and then giving an average of what brands does this AI engine recommend when we ask questions around the topic. So you might add in, say you're trying to sell, I don't know, security cameras. You might add in as a keyword security cameras. And then on the back end, they're creating a bunch of different prompts, like where can I buy security cameras? What are the best security camera brands or best security cameras? They're creating these variations that use your term. There is no limit to the amount people can actually ask AI's different questions. So we want to get a good benchmark and LLM ref gives a great, you know, 10 to 12 different variations on your initial prompt. It's then shooting those over and asking AI a bunch of different times and then benchmarking. What is the number of times that the brand is getting asked? So here we can see our client at 75% of share of voice. So the percentage of AI responses that mentions somewhere about this brand is 75% across all AI brands. You also have the position. So AI will usually give you, you know, like here are top three brands for security cameras. Here's number one, number two, and number three. So you also have the average position. So, you know, as you can see, these ranges from two, three, four, AIs are a little unpredictable. So, you know, it's going to be very rare to get number one. And so this is essentially the idea of benchmarking in GEO is that we can give a good benchmark and now we can experiment and do different things, link building, content marketing, and website updates to influence this number and actually see a KPI of success. So something that the enterprise will start using is share a voice. How did this contribute to the overall conversation about your brand and how often you're being recommended by, by AIs? You'll also notice this sources section where this tool is actually scraping these sources AI is using across all of their various queries they're sending to the system and conglomerating all of these across various keywords that we put in there and then given a mention rate of that actual source. So here's a blog of best XYZ, best security cameras, let's say, and you can get your brand in there. So we'll show you exactly how to do that. But first, let's go into the second part of this video, which is technical. Now, when you hear technical, don't get too afraid. It's not as complicated as everyone makes it seem, especially if you have a reliable developer or someone that you can talk to. It's kind of explain what's going on. Technical SEO has actually not changed very much in GEO or really in the last few years, right? You need a responsive website that is fast, that has good structure and clean code. And so really you just need a developer to clean out your code and have an understanding of SEO because a lot of them don't but it does come down pretty simple and pretty much the same as traditional SEO. So in this kind of comparison, this is where things stay a lot the same. One key aspect to take into mind is that a clean HTML website with good heading structures. So these are the basic H1s, H2s, H3s. So if we go in here, we can actually use a tool and see what are the heading tags on the website, H1, H2. You took like high school web design or something like that, you may remember this, but this is kind of the basic structure that you would want in your technical SEO. You also need schema. 
And schema is actually a very basic markup sort of language that was created by Google, Microsoft, Index, and all of the major search engines to essentially communicate exactly what your brand is about, who you are, and everything like that. Now, technical SEO is a bit of a rabbit hole and it goes down far. But what you need to know as an executive or as a founder, higher level marketer, is that really you need a clean website. You need a tactical SEO or someone with SEO experience to come into your website and make sure that that's clean. And hopefully they have a developer that can come in and fix everything. Don't just rely on SEMrush and Ahrefs audits. They are not everything. And then the key thing that you'll have to tell your SEO if he doesn't know what he's doing in the geo world is that JavaScript rendering is a no-no. So you really do want a simple, clean, fast website for a GEO, especially in the these early days. ChatGPT, AI crawlers, they're not rendering JavaScript. And so JavaScript is essentially dynamic content in the age of the internet, and it was included later on. And it's more expensive for these AI crawlers to pull. And so they're just taking the basic HTML. And so sometimes that can look a lot different. You can even download a Chrome extension that turns off JavaScript, and you'll see what your website looks like. And it may not be pretty. So I won't harp too much on technical SEO because it's something that you can just get fixed by a professional. Now, the area that I think is most exciting is link build. So link building back at the beginning of SEO, a little history lesson for you guys. It was huge and it was the easiest way to really manipulate Google and other engines. You could just pop up a ton of different websites and then put in a hyperlink or, you know, mention the other website and then link to them. So that if you click that link, it goes to their website or your own website. You could just throw up hundreds of these websites, thousands of them, and put in links towards your website and you'd rank at the top of Google. Google then put in a lot of spam policies to try to get people to not do that. And guess what? It still works today, but you've got to be a lot more careful these days. Now, AI has changed the game because as I mentioned with LLM Breath, I'm sure a lot of other tools, you can actually scrape the citations that they're using. And one of the most guaranteed strategies that we know right now is that AI is using these sources to pull information and it is putting that into its context window. It's kind of like a prompt, right? If you made the prompt, you just added in all of these articles, it's adding those in. And if your brand is mentioned in that list, you're going to be higher in the share rate, the share of voice in that AI. So this is a key strategy that we're doubling down on. We actually started out as a link building company, so we were kind of perfectly fit for this. We even have a basic template here where you export those sources and you organize them by type. So sometimes it's a Reddit article, sometimes it's a different type of article, sometimes it's a listicle listing out brands. We can see whether does it already include your brand or is it not? And we can really go deep into this and see which brands are currently mentioned it's tons of fun. And then we actually build a outreach list. So we add in the name, email, social profiles, all of this stuff. And then we go ahead and reach out to those individuals and try to get our brand, our product mentioned. And in this case, it's e-commerce. So the easiest way to do that is to send them a product, maybe give them an affiliate link, right? You got to provide some kind of value. They're not just going to add your product in for no reason. So that's the key to doing this kind of GEO outreach. Now there's a couple other tricks, but that's what I'm willing to share today. Keep following us to see more as we discover in this new landscape. We'll actually give you this template too, as well as a GEO checklist. So if I haven't added it, comment in the description, GEO checklist, generative engine optimization, and I'll share that over with you guys. It could be the top link in the description. So that's gonna be a really key way to influence these algorithms. And I'm not gonna go too deep into it because I think I'm gonna release a new video on outreach for geo but it's as simple as it seems go get ll and breath it's in the description buy it for at least a month export your top keywords so you can throw your keywords in here it's pretty amazing and then it will scrape all of the sources for each keyword extract each of those and then build out your list this is a fantastic way especially after you have a clean well functioning website the next point we want to go into is content marketing now content marketing has stayed a lot the same but there are key caveats that are changing in the age of geo so as usual, you do want to create content. You want to create blog posts, different useful content across your topic, especially if you're in certain niches in AI, because we have to go back to the customer journey when it comes to these AI engines. They're not just searching best security camera. They're actually asking various questions, follow-up questions. They're talking 
to the AI for a con extended conversation about your products. So they may not just ask best security cameras. They might ask, right, maybe they start off with like, hey, do I need a security camera? You know, maybe they've heard it, you know, like, do I actually need a security camera? You know, I live in this area. Is it safe? And then the AI gives you back, oh, it's not very safe. And so they're like, ooh, well, if I want a security camera, how much will they cost? Like, what would that actually take out from my, my bank account? And then it gives them, you know, average prices. And then throughout this whole process, before they even get to, hey, I want to buy this security camera, the AI is using content that is on websites to determine a lot of this information, as well as content on Reddit and social media. And so you need to really be thinking about your customer journey, not as much just keywords. And this will show in keywords as well, even in traditional SEMrush type tools, you'll see, you know, how much does a security camera cost? You definitely need an article on that because that's a part of the buyer's journey. And then AI will start sourcing you more and see you as a reputable source. On that, reputable sources need reputable brands and authors. And so having an author actually listed there with their LinkedIn, with it in the schema code of the website, having overall a brand that you're building, both on social media, externally, doing press releases, all of this kind of stuff is really important. Have a trustworthy brand that AI will feel okay citing. And so as you're mapping out that journey, so how much does it cost? Okay, it costs about this much. What are the differences between the different costs? You know, what is a high-end versus low-end security camera, you know? What are the actual features? Which one should I buy? And then once they kind of get down to that, they're like, okay, well, what's the best brands for security cameras? You know, if I have a budget of $150, which security camera should I buy? And now you have the direct bottom of funnel terms that are really going to get you money. And so content marketing is very similar, but if you're still in the old mindset of, you know, traditional SEOs where it's just like export a billion keywords and just write a billion articles, you know, you're probably not on the forefront of SEO, digital marketing, and GEO. If you do want to stay on top of GEO and stay at the cutting edge of digital marketing, then give us a subscribe and like the video and let me know what you want to learn next. We are actually working on major projects, major companies, especially in the e-commerce space for or generative engine optimization directly influencing these algorithms. And so this is a brand new space. So we're trying out and doing so many experiments. If you want to keep updated on that, then subscribe and, and we'll be publishing a lot of videos. If you are interested in talking to myself on whether this stuff makes sense for your brand and how to actually win in the age of AI search, then I have a Calendly link below that you can schedule a direct one-on-one -on -one call with me where we can explore your brand and see if it even makes sense. If it does, I'll just share all the secrets. I'll upload your stuff to LMRef and we can start nerding out. We also are developing a enterprise GEO checklist. If you are interested in that, you can also get that below. Now, I'll be quiet because you have a lot of busy things that you need to be doing. So thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a great one and let's win in 2025 and 2026.